Hey, good morning. Welcome to At Dawn. We're going to look at Lamentations, and now we're moving into chapter 3. It's kind of an autobiographical chapter. It tells us a lot about the feelings of the prophet. But let's read verses 1 to 3. I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He has led me and made me walk in darkness and not in light. Surely he has turned his hand against me time and time again throughout the day. So those are the first three verses. And as we said, this chapter... 66 verses longer than the other four chapters in this book. This one gives us a lot of the feeling. What does it feel like to be trying to be a faithful servant of the Lord? Jeremiah is going to let us in on the secret, and it's pretty grim some of the time. So let's look at these pieces here, aware that Jeremiah's feelings give us an insight into the feelings that all who've sought to be faithful to God across the ages, how they've all felt probably at different times. A lot of loneliness here and a lot of feelings of confinement that, you know, you've signed on to God's plan. You freely chose him, but now he has some hard pieces he wants you to do. And Jeremiah certainly had plenty of hard pieces. I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He has led me and made me walk in darkness and not in light. Those first two verses. So I thought that the Christian always is walking in light, but here it says he made me walk in darkness. There's never a time when God's servants, they like know everything and they're just they, they know the whole plan. They've got the whole script worked out because there's free will in operation, God's free will and human free will. And God isn't forcing us. The devil's in there trying to, you know, there's all these agents here, agents of free will, all working to cause either the salvation of man or the destruction of him. And so we are making these choices in this forest we're transiting through. He's seen affliction. It seems like, you know, God's God's wrath is there. It seems like he's in darkness. He prays, but then he does this, and then God wants him to do that, and he doesn't really, God doesn't always tell us all the pieces. How would we grow if God told us every piece? And so we we sort of fumble along, and the closer we walk to him, the more we will have a good guidance from him. But along the way, don't be surprised, because there's a lot of times when we are trying to go in his direction but we're, we're off by a few degrees one way or the other, and he will, he will come back and work with us in that situation and bring us onto his path. Jeremiah is one who says, a lot of the times it felt like he was leading me and I was in darkness and not in light. Keep in mind that the duty of the faithful servant of God is not to know everything. It is to be faithful. The largest quality of all is a faithful heart toward the King of Kings. And with that, God can work. With everything else, You've got trouble. So Jeremiah experienced a lot of the same chastenings as the kingdom of Judah did. Did you notice verse 3? Surely he has turned his hand against me time and again, time and time again. The judgments that fell on Judah for its unfaithfulness, many of them also affected Jeremiah and other faithful servants of God. We're all affected by, by the transgressions of each other. He's feeling many times that God's judgments have fallen upon him. I remember an occasion in the second grade when the class had been, you know, very wild with the teacher. And the teacher, the teacher came along and gave us a real serious tongue lashing, very unhappy with us. And I remember I wasn't really, I don't think, now if you go to, up to some other grades, I, I did cause a lot of trouble, but not in second grade. I remember feeling totally guilty because the teacher was, I felt like I was a guilty party and could hardly bear it. But, but the, real, the real culprits were some of the guys further back. Jeremiah might have felt the judgments of God because he was very conscientious, but those judgments were really more meant for those corrupt parties, the corrupt prophets and priesthood and so on we've talked about before. So even though it feels like, you know, God isn't necessarily there for you, he is. And let's just seek to be faithful. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, even when we feel alone, you will be our leader. You'll be our helper. You will strengthen us. Help us, Lord, when we are doing your work faithfully. We don't expect, help us not to expect, you're going to just rain down candy and, and velvety things. We're in for some rough experiences, and you're going to use it to grow us and bring us closer to your heart. We thank you for hearing our prayer, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So may God be with you today, no matter with your when your path goes, seems to go a little bit left when you thought it was going right or vice versa. Be faithful. That's the point that counts.